Alright, so I'm going to do another video on the NES. Claims to be a learning thermostat. So let's check this out. I know there's already lots of box opening videos for this, but I'm going to go ahead and open the box and let's check it out. So here's some stuff inside. Uh, I think they thought of just about everything with this kit screwdriver, the mounting plate, where you simply stick your wires in, more screws, instructions. Hey, this little thing is heavier than you think. A wall mounting plate, some metal plate. We'll see how much this thing weighs. All right, so we're talking 7.4 ounces. So before you buy the NES, you should go to this web page and make sure what you have now is compatible to, to the NES. And mine was. And the other cool thing is it comes with these cool labels so you can label your wires when you remove them from your, your current thermostat. Alright, so let's get started. Step one, turn the power off. So I gotta run downstairs, do that, and then we're gonna remove our old system. We're gonna label the wires and unhook them. And the manual shows that. So let's go turn some power off. Here's the old one that we need to remove. Check out this cool wallpaper. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So this house was built in the 50s. Is that like the drywall or something from back then? All right, so what you want to do is label these. We have a R, G, and a Y and W. So we're gonna peel these. We're gonna peel these off and stick them on those wires. Okay, I got my wires labeled, and just in case you're curious, this is just R. It doesn't have any, uh, it's just R. It's not labeled RC or RH, but the manual says it can go into either the RC or RH. So if you have an old one like me, it just, it can go either way. So it's good to know. And also the R is the power. The G is the, uh, power for the fan. The W is the uh, power, switch power for the heat. And the Y, which probably you might have a yellow wire. I don't know, I have a blue. It's for cooling. So maybe blue was cooling back, back in those days. So let's unhook all the wires and go to the, our next step. All right, 
right. Ready to move on. Another good thing to do would be to clean your wall. Now that you have that off from years of dirt and people touch it. And now we have to figure out what wall plate to put here. Okay, we have this. Oh, let me show you here. Oh, that doesn't look very good. So let's do, let's try that with the uh, wall plate that's included. So we're obviously going to use this wall plate and we could put it like this or we could put it like this. All right, so. Okay, now make sure you're nice and level while before and while you're putting in this bottom screw. Oh, that's a really, that's pretty tiny, pretty tiny leveler. I'm going to use one that I can actually see. This says it's level here and it's off a little bit down here. So it might be good to have let me actually come straight on so you can see. See, that's pretty darn level there. But if you look down here, it's, it's off a little bit. So, so it might be nice to have another level close by. So let's put the bottom screw in. to almost tight. Get your level out again. And check it before you tight it, tighten it down all the way. Right there. Might be nice if they would have included some drywall anchors. It looks like something they forgot. Alright, ready for the next step. Next step is to insert the wires. So what I did, I cut the, the ends off. They were kind of long, plus I straightened them. So now we can insert them into uh, their holes here. Seriously, if you're worried about wiring, this is the easiest part of the job so far. Just sticking these in there. Just stick them in further than you think. And now these guys, we got to push back down in the hole. Once you push them in the hole, make sure your wires are still... Make sure your, wi make sure your wires are still snug. Let's see. This is a good test. I'm just lightly pulling on them. All right, so we're ready for the next step. Next, we're going to attach this. It says it just snaps right in. Let's see. We're going to want to make sure these pins line up to this. There you go, heard a snap. Now we need to go turn the power back on. Okay, I just turned the power back on. I ran upstairs and 
We have power. All right, exciting. Now it should walk us through the setup.